Hello, this is Nick from Dripper Labs and we are excited to be showing you some new features in the recipe book today. So uh, the features that we've created are all about what happens when you click create new recipe. So the first thing that we've addressed is Previously, you had to pick a name before you were able to create a recipe and now it will come with a default name. So if you don't know what to call it yet, you can hit create. Uh, it will add uh, a number to the end, uh, which will make sure that all your recipes are uniquely identifiable for when you do want to go back and find them. And when you are ready to rename them, you can come into the product details tab and rename them there. So that's cool, a little bit more efficient and you can create the flavors before you need to decide what they're gonna be called. The other thing that we've added is the ability to create recipes using a template. So uh, you're probably familiar with our house flavors already. Uh, there are nine to choose from. And at the moment, we have them on here so you can buy them, you can try them. And unlike normal flavors that get published to the marketplace, uh, whose recipes will be private to the creator, we've chosen to make ours open source. So that's to show you what recipes look like, give you examples of how ingredients can be used and layered to create finished, tried and tested products. Well, now if you wanted, uh, perhaps you've already tried one and you want to tweak it to your personal taste, you are now able to do that very easily by using the house flavor template so if you pick let's say for example we wanted to make a version of the iced caramel latte perhaps it's going to be an iced toffee latte uh, when we hit create what happens is first of all we get a full copy of an editable recipe so we're ready to go and make changes just to show you what happens under the hood you get a v1.0 which is exactly the recipe that was cloned and this is locked so you you won't lose that and if you really want you can go and look in the notes and see exactly what recipe was used to make that clone so now that we've got that we can go to our 1.1 and this example i'm going to drop the caramel right down i'm going to keep it for some of that sort of sticky sweetness uh, but I'm going to add some of the dark uh, sweetness that comes from the dark toffee so let's put some toffee in it and perhaps I'm going to increase the cinnamon as well on this one uh, and now I've made my own version of one of the Dripper Labs house flavors uh, the other thing that we can do which is really cool so what I'm going to do to show you this is I'm going to go back into our custard recipe and I'm going to put a few uh, ingredients in there so let's use the custard a little bit of cheesecake a little bit of natural yogurt and perhaps some extra vanilla so the idea here is that we're making a, a building block a base recipe that we can use uh, to make a range of flavors that carry that same signature so I'm going to add a little bit of extra uh, creaminess from the cheesecake uh, we won't get you know when you push it up high you get some of the biscuity notes we're only going to pick up some of the creamy notes there a little bit of the tart uh, fresh natural yogurt a little bit of vanilla um, so if I save that recipe uh, what I'm able to do now is when I want to go and make another uh, version using that custard, I can go to my recipes, pick this custard as the starting point, and perhaps I'm going to make a rhubarb custard as my first variant. I'm going to add some rhubarb, and maybe I'm going to add some cherry as well. So we're gonna get flavors very easily and quickly that have the same signature underneath, just push that into strong. So now we have a rhubarb custard and you can imagine how easy it is for me to go and make other variants like a blueberry custard and they're all gonna have that same signature taste underneath. So hopefully with these new features, we've made it uh, easier when you're making your very first recipe, you can go in and it'll handle all those default names, but you can also either clone house flavors, tailor them, tweak them to your own preference or use your own recipes as building blocks uh, for your next creations to give that same signature tone and undertone to your product ranges hopefully that's helpful uh, we have more new features coming in a few weeks time some exciting things but hopefully that will make it even easier to create your own flavors with drip labs thanks for listening and we will see you in the next videos